Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to explain how to create this um, archive uh, post for using Elementor Pro. So it's normally you use that for the news and blogs section, right? So you can display the uh, post, right, that you have in your WordPress site, okay? So for that we just need to access through the dashboard in WordPress, right, and go through the section in Elementor Pro here, the template. So templates, and then we go in through theme builder. Okay, so once it's here, it says side parts, we need to go through archive, right? And then we're gonna create a new one, add new. Okay, as you know, Elementor Pro has this library with uh, different templates that you can go through. They're pretty nice. So we can select if you can go through and select a few of them and, and check which one do you like and then probably insert. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, so for now, we probably go back and we're going to select one of these um, simple ones. But as you can see, it's quite a lot of them. So I'm just gonna select that one for now. Okay, so we're going to insert this one. Okay, as you can see here, it displays already the archive. So all of these that the post is in um, WordPress and Elementor takes them into this um, mm, grid, right? So if you click in there, you can see also to what's the scheme. So what you can change that, right? So you can go, for instance, and check this model skin you got this visual which is more modern i think right um and then you got full content so it displayed the full um the full content well the, the full content for each block right which is i don't know for that one so let's gonna go for the classic one right see uh, here as you can see in the layout right so we can just select what's the number of the columns that we want. In that case here, you can select uh, up to six, right? So I think it's too much. In that case, three is okay. The image position, so that's the image. Where do you want to select that? So here, top, left, right, none, if you don't want to have one. So in, in once, let's gonna do this one. Here, in the, you select left. Also, you put uh, one column. And then I think if you go here, say image uh, width, you can see that you have kind of like one by one post, which is also a good view as well. So, but at the moment for now, we're just gonna keep this uh, as a one three and then here going back to full and we're gonna put that to top, right? So we have this view here, okay, which is uh, the normal one and then you got more options like if you want to hide the title, what's the edge category or yeah, what the category of the title. So if you want the tag of the title, if it's H1, H2, X6 or just paragraph, right? So you can change all of that. The excerpt, which is this description here, if you want to display or not, right? And the metadata, what's the metadata is, well, for instance, you can select what's the date that the post was created, right? Or the, also the comments, how many comments that block um, has, right? And what do we have if you have any modification date, so you put that, right? Um, this uh, separator in between, so you can go here and, and change, which is pretty much this uh, um, icon here, or, or you can also put no, uh, that it was in there, that one, this sign. And then read more, that's the link. Normally if you click any of the, any part of the post or the blog, right? Um, it will take you to the actual post, right? Then, but you can remove if you want, right? So then it's also this way to, you can change the read more, you can, even put for instance explore explore more right that depends up to you in here this is a good thing here so this is automatic align the buttons so that makes that if you for instance have this option here it makes the uh, explore more and everything align 
to uh, the bottom line, which is pretty, pretty good. So it keeps the consistency. Uh, and then the, when they click in the any of these blocks, so you say opening a new tab or opening a new windows, right? So then click and it will be opening a new tab or windows. It's called the same. Uh, the pagin uh, pagination, which is the number here at the bottom, right? So we can put numbers, preview, next, that depends what you guys want to um, display, even numbers and preview or next, both, right? Or just uh, load on click, which is, is if you go load and click, or there's another one which is in the scroll. So you can scroll down and then it will be created, showing, displaying the whole blocks, right? Um, I'm just gonna keep that with the numbers, it's fine, all right? Uh, if you have a lot, so if you have so many, you just put shorten and I think it will keep only from four, right? I mean, four, one, two, three, four, but if you got 10, it will be one, two, three, up to 10. Uh, here, if you wanna display left and right, center, okay, I'm just gonna keep this here, center, and if you have more, right? So that's, that's the archive post, but if you also want to do something like more specific, imagine and say, oh, I don't want to display uh, for categories, or I wanna uh, create a query for that. What a query means is like, I just wanna display a um, few posts or specific posts. So for that, you just go here, it's called post, right? So go through this button here, elements, and, and search for post, right? So we're going here, post, you, let me remove that one for now, right? I'm gonna, add, insert this one here is simple as drag and then drop in there right and then it's pretty much the same right but then you have this function here which is called query right which is pretty useful as you can see here is the source you know you have to post right you can get page landing page products if it's you have an e-commerce right you can call the product that you have in your uh, woocommerce right and then display all the, pro all the products that you have and the good thing is you include and exclude. Imagine that you want to exclude or include something, here it will be good because imagine I'm going here post and I have this post, I want to display only for business, which is, is a category that I have here. It will be business. Uh, let me go here, add temps. You need to uh, add tem. And then here in tem, you just add business, right? It will be showing here categories, business, and digital. So I just want to display this category, right? Only include that one. And this is the own post that is inside of this category, business and digital, right? Um, and if you want to exclude, you just go here, the same thing. And you can do as uh, actually oh, the current one, manual selection, which is uh, if you go here, manual, and then select, oh, I don't want to. Um, this show the for instance this one building and online yeah so you just go and as you can see here that one disappear right there's a cool feature i think it's also good to you know be able to include or exclude wherever you want in there uh also the order so here date you can um select what's the date past day, custom, right? The order that you want, if you have a random order, imagine that you want to change this constant uh, random or for title, menu, the comments, right? And that's the order if you want a sense or sense, right? Which is, it's, it's okay, I mean, you can use whatever you need. Okay, um, so this is the way that you have this, um, you can use this archive um, template for your news and blogs, right? And once it's done, right, to things always responsive, you go here, it's responsive, and then you'll see how it displays for the different view for a tablet and then mobile, which is pretty cool, right? Um, and then going back here, what we can do is just go to this publish, right? So the publish is always the same. What's the conditions that we, you want to add? That the conditions, and then you got the option include or exclude. This is the all archive that will be for all the archive, but you have also the option for the post right archive, which is it will take if you have the post or news page right defined by uh, WordPress. Normally, say um, in the post page, right? It will be taking this um, template, okay? 
and what else do we have in here so for instance you put that in there if you go and display right now if I'm going to my page um, I think it's called news right in here you see it will display that's my post page right uh, sorry my news page which is the post page that I have designed in uh, WordPress right so how do you know that if you go here to customize right I'm gonna open this in a new tab I'll show you right you will have this post page where is the post page is here you say home page settings right and then you will see they say post page it's kind of defined what is your post page in WordPress right and I have news right you can create another one it's called blog which is as you can see here different URL right uh, and use the same element. This is the post um, uh, widget that I saw you in, in here, right? Okay, so this is the way that you can create this archive template for your news and blogs, right? Uh, let me know in your comments below if you have any questions, right? And I will be happy to help you and like the video and I'll thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.